be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is of greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you never despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All please visit it for the homely who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus gave three reasons. One, you must become a child of God. Even if you're a lawyer here, a doctor, president, you occupy the highest position in the world, but you have not been baptized. you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. That's why the greatest gift is baptism. So the greatest in the kingdom of heaven is the one who receives. Because oftentimes the world teaches us that we become the greatest in the world if we are the one who do things, who direct the course of the world, who do things by our own power and intellect and money and influence and fame. But the greatest in the kingdom of heaven is the one who receives God's grace. If you only love by your own effort, you will be frustrated. If you love your husband and wife by your human capacity, you will be disappointed because the lover is not perfect and the beloved is not perfect. And love always seeks perfection. So how can you love if you yourself is not perfect? You have your flaws and faults and falls. And the beloved is also not perfect. That's why you need to receive something from God. The grace of God, the love of God. And by this love of God, you love other people. The greatest in my life is not what I do or my talent. The greatest thing in my life is what I receive from God, baptism and ordination. Because by the power of ordination, I will be able to give you what I cannot give by myself. That's why God empowers me to give to you the body of Christ, which does not come from me comes from God. That's why I receive the power of ordination to confect transubstantiation so that I can give it to you. So unless you become like little child by baptism and by reception of God's grace, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. The world wants to be independent from God. People want to construct their life separated from God. God does not have a role 
a portion in the time and talent of the people. But for Christians, what we give, the best thing that we can give, is actually what we receive from the Lord. And that's the attitude of the child. The attitude of the adult is I give from what I have. The attitude of the child because they know, the children because they know that they cannot give what they do not have, they first receive from God. And because they receive from God, from the person, from their parents, by analogy, they can also give to other people. And that's a childlikeness. That's the attitude of childlikeness. That's why Jesus said, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children by sacrament and by the spirit of reception, you will not enter the kingdom of God. How can you enter the kingdom of God by your own effort? You enter the kingdom of God because you receive the grace of God in baptism. Second reason to become important in the kingdom of God is to consider your pers your, yourself less important. You become important in the eyes of God because you consider yourself less important. Kung sino ang nagapakataas ang iya kaugalingon, pagapaubuson. Pero kung sino ang nagapaubus ang iya kaugalingon, pagapataason. And he or she is the greatest in the kingdom of God. So what is who is important in the kingdom of God? Those who think of themselves less important. And Jesus said, Whoever humbles himself like little child is the greatest in the kingdom of God. The third reason of importance or greatness in the kingdom of God is you give importance to the less important. You give importance to the less important. Jesus said, whoever receives one child less important as this, such as this in my name receives me. See that you never despise one of these little ones, the less important, the poor, the neglected, the disabled, the less important person, materially, socially, less important person. I say to you that the angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. So if you do corporal works and spiritual works of mercy to the less important, you become important to the eyes of God, in the eyes of God. So three reasons, and we ask this grace. Lord, make us your children and make us open to receive the grace so that what we receive from you, the love that we receive, we will also be able to love other people. The forgiveness that we receive, we will forgive other people. The things that we receive, we offer this part of our worship and generosity to other people. Because you cannot give what you do not have. In fact, what we offer to you is what we receive from you. So we cannot offer anything to you if you do not give these things to us. So as long as you give it to us, we'll continue to give it back to you. And that's childlikeness. Second, Lord, give us the grace to consider ourselves less important in humility. And Lord, give us the grace to give importance to those who are not important in society. Amen.